How to use water for lower back pain relief. Water is the most effective lubricant we have in our entire body. What happens is we, we drink water, it goes into our stomach, then the water gets separated out by the digestive juices, goes into the small intestine, it, the, the fluid then goes, goes into, into the blood, it gets separated out, but what it does is as it flows through our body, the water leaks out and turns into interstitial fluid throughout our entire body. And that is a great lubricant. All of our fascia are rubbed together and they touch each other. There's got to be some water in between there. And what it does for lower back is if you don't have enough water, that water is, is not going to be there for the discs, especially between L4 and L5 and possibly S, L, L5 and S1. Those discs, they have to be able to, when we move, they have to be able to slide. And when they're sliding, they're safely... Uh, working what they need to do. If they cannot slide or if there's a restriction there, all of a sudden it's starting to create tension on that balloon that is called our disc. Literally it is a balloon. It's kind of a pretty tough fibrous balloon, but what it does is it makes it so that that can't move as well. So we use our water intermittently throughout the day and try to sip. I just had a construction experience with this works for, 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 for construction people where I worked outside very, very hot. So what I ended up doing every 15 minutes, I drank an entire glass of ice water. I was so comfortable out there in that heat. It was 95 degrees and more. So I was very comfortable out there. That's one of the ways in which you can be comfortable, but I was also hydrating myself because the sun was just baking it right out of me. I didn't urinate at all that day, and I drank six, seven, eight glasses of ice water. But that was the circumstances. If you're in an office, here you have... A situation where you have a constant temperature but you're in a stable position. Construction workers they're moving around all over the place. If you're sitting in an office you're in a stable position so you have to sip more often. Don't necessarily have to use ice water. Cold helps because it tastes a little better. You know why they put ice cubes in water in restaurants? It's to mask the taste of the chlorine in the water. So if you're drinking pure water you don't need to put ice cubes in it. It just works very well that way. But here's the thing with, with sitting in an office. You have to be able to continue lubricating all that fascia that is moving around in your body, even though you're only moving a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You keep putting sips of water in there, so you can put a straw in a cup or a glass or whatever it is, and every five minutes or 10 minutes you take a sip and you, and you, you keep it in your mouth, you, lubri you lubricate your mouth and you swallow it. And you do that on a regular basis. That's gonna make it easier for you to get up it's going to make it easier to, for you to move. It's just going to make it a lot easier for you as you go on. And it doesn't create the tension in the lower back that is, is part of that. So drink your water. Here's another reason to drink it. It helps you with the balancing of the energies in your body and especially the tension that's created from sitting in a position where you're in your computer, your mind is doing all these different formulations and different things, you're not aware of your body at all. That's when your body has to be able to continue lubricating everything that you have going on. If you like this information, please look below. You'll find more information on my website. I've already spoken about this on previous YouTubes. Please find those on YouTube or find them on my channel. There's more. I've, more, I've said more about water. Thanks. <music>